Okay, two more projectile problems coming your way. All right, so the first one, a ball thrown horizontally at 25 meters per second travels a horizontal distance of 50 meters before hitting the ground. From what height was the ball thrown? Okay, so the ball is thrown horizontally 25 meters per second. It's going to travel in a parabolic path, let's say, and hit over here. And it, it travels 50 meters. Okay. Um, and so we want to find the initial height, right? Isn't that what it said? What height was the ball thrown? Okay. So y initial. All right, so let, let's uh, organize what we're given here, set up our coordinate system. I'm going to set up my coordinate to be right underneath where the ball is originally thrown. So that's my y, my plus y, and my plus x. And then I am given x0, x final, v0, x, ax. This is givens. And then we can do our y direction as well. Sometimes I just draw it as a t here instead of the whole box. y0, y final, v0, y, and a y. Okay, so once the ball is released from whatever is throwing it, right, it's just uh, accelerating due to gravity, right? So it's got some initial velocity, but any acceleration is just due to gravity. So uh, I said positive is up that way, gravity is down, so a is in the y direction, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. It does not have initial velocity in the y direction, that is zero. Uh, y final is going to be zero, and y initial we don't know, we're trying to find that. Okay. So x initial, based on my coordinate system where my origin is right there, x initial is 0, x final is 50, v0 x is 25 meters per second, and then ax will be 0. Okay. So there's always many ways that you can solve projectile uh, problems, right? It's never just one route to the solution. But when I look at this box, I know a lot of stuff in the x direction, okay? And I think that might be my way to try and start it. So I'm going to write my x position equation. So x final equals x0 plus v0 xt plus 1 half ax t squared. And we can put y down as well, too. We're going to need that. y final is y initial plus v0 yt plus 1 half ay t squared. And if you weren't sure which way to go, it's not bad to put them both down. Let's see what we can get rid of for zeros. Um, so we know x initial is 0. Uh, we know ax is 0, so that whole term goes away. So my x equation simplifies to x final is v0x times t. For the y equation, I know my final is 0. Uh, my initial y is 0, so that term goes away. So I get 0 equals y initial plus 1 half ay t squared. Now this is what we want to solve for, right? So we know that y initial equals, bring that over to the other side, negative 1 half ay t squared. Okay, so I know my acceleration, I don't know time, but if I look over at my x equation, I know x final, I know v0x, and so I can solve for time here. So we can either um, do this out in two steps, or we can solve for t and plug it in over here. I'm going to do it in two steps just for, um, I don't know why, just because I want to. All right, so I'm going to solve for t. I'm going to divide both sides by v0x, okay? So t equals x final, so that's 50 meters, dividing by v0x, 25 meters per second. I can do that math in my head. I get t equals 2 seconds, okay? And now I can come down over here and plug that into my y equation to get my initial y height. So it is negative one half. My acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And my time is two seconds. I'm gonna square that. And so if I do out that math, I think I did it already. Yeah, so it's two times 9.8, so I get 19.6.
And that is the answer.